The feeling of being ill is awful. Not being able to eat what you want or go out as you normally would due to ill health is the worst feeling, isn't it? Ill health restricts one in multiple ways, but it is the will to recover that helps a person overcome such difficulties. The story, The Last Leaf, is the story of two young painters, Sue and Johnsy, and the impact of one's mindset on health and well-being. Let us watch to find out what illness was Johnsy suffering from and how she overcame it. Sue and Johnsy were artists who shared a flat on the third story in an old house. In November, Johnsy fell very ill from pneumonia, which resulted in her lying still in bed. She would look out of the window all day without moving, and this worried her friend Sue. On one such day, the doctor told Sue that Johnsy was not getting well because she herself did not want to get well. Because of her mental condition, medication was not effective in improving her health. Do you know that our body and mind are closely connected? To have a healthy body, we need to develop a healthy mind. Medicines can work effectively only if our mind is positive. Sue tried talking to Johnsy about things that she thought would interest her, such as fashion and clothes. However, this did not help distract Johnsy at all, and she continued to lie still in her bed. Sue brought her drawing board in Johnsy's room and started painting there. She would also whistle while painting to try to distract Johnsy from her melancholic thoughts. While Sue was painting, she heard Johnsy whisper a countdown. Anxious, Sue tried to find out what Johnsy was looking at while counting down. She noticed an old ivy creeper outside the window. Due to the strong winds, the creeper was rapidly shedding its leaves. Sue asked Johnsy, What is it, dear? When the last leaf falls, I will die, she replied. Sue immediately reprimanded her for saying such things. There were four leaves left on the ivy creeper and Johnsy was waiting for them to fall before she could die. Sue tried to calm her and asked her not to say such things. She asked Johnsy to close her eyes and get some rest. In the meantime, Sue went to get Mr. Berman, who was a 60-year-old painter. Sue wanted to discuss Johnsy's condition with him. Sue explained Johnsy's situation to Berman and told him she was worried of Johnsy's mental depression as she thought she would die when the last leaf fell. Is she stupid? asked Mr. Berman. How can she be so foolish? he continued. She refuses to eat or drink and that worries me a lot, said Sue. Sue then looked out the window and noticed that there was only one leaf left on the creeper since it was raining heavily and ice-cold wind was blowing. Berman went back to his room without saying a word. When Johnsy woke up the next morning, she asked Sue to draw the curtains. Much to their surprise, the last leaf was still there. Do you think the leaf was holding on to the creeper because it desperately wanted to live? Not only was it alive, but it was green and healthy. Johnsy thought maybe the leaf will be gone by the evening. She kept checking it every hour and in the evening it had even survived a storm. Johnsy then called out to Sue. I have been a bad girl, she said to Sue. She regretted being so negative and felt terrible for not cooperating with Sue. The last leaf had taught her that she had been wicked and it was a sin to wish to die. The doctor was now confident that Johnsy would recover soon. The next morning, Sue informed Johnsy about Mr. Berman having passed away of pneumonia. When the janitor found him on his bed, his clothes and shoes were wet and he was shivering. He had been out in that stormy night. Sue revealed to Johnsy 
that the leaf on the creeper had not been fluttering because it was a painting. It was Mr. Berman's masterpiece which he had painted the night the last leaf fell. What is the message you think the writer tries to convey through this heart-touching story? The writer tries to teach us the importance of faith, hope and a positive attitude. As soon as Johnsy changed her attitude towards her illness, she recovered. Our attitude towards something plays an important role in achieving our desires or overcoming challenging situations. With the right mindset, we can conquer the toughest of circumstances.